Hello, it's Paul. I'm going to give you a really quick introduction today to DiscourseHosting.com. I've done some Discourse videos before on the main hosting and on doing it on a, on your doing it for yourself on something like DigitalOcean. This is an introduction to Discourse Hosting where they will do all the hard work, the donkey work for you. So if you're not particularly tech savvy and you don't want to do the back end terminal programming, editing lines of code in a document, you just want to fire up a system, launch your pro launch your platform, launch your forum, do it like it says here, do it in under five minutes. This is going to be for you. So I just want to just explain at this point, um, this isn't how to install it. This is introducing you to exactly all the platform and the features. What I'll do in another video, and I'll put a link below, is I'll um, I'll do your full installation video. And I'll put it in a training course, even though I don't think you need a training course. Uh, and I'll also do a video on how to transfer your domain to Discourse Hosting. Because I've just transferred mine, uh, and it was very easy to do, right? So... Just before I dive into all the features, do me a favor. It's always great in these videos, uh, and I'll do one every year on Discourse Hosting. This is 2019. If you can just pause me and tell me why you're here, tell me what you're watching it for, and telling me, tell me, you know, what you're hoping to learn, and then I'll comment. I'll reply to all my comments, and I, you know, I might have a video for you. I might have some advice for you uh, where you you might be looking for something different, and I can send you uh, some information. So just pause me and tell me why you're here. Right, so let's get into it. Let's first talk about pricing, right? Because obviously it's the first thing you're going to be interested in. It's the first thing that people really care about. Uh, and it's pretty easy to understand the pricing with these guys. There's two different types, depending if you if you need a, a US or an EU data center. People who operate out of the EU, you, you're under GDPR rights. Uh, you are compliant. You want to make sure you're saving people's data correctly. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive because if somebody wants to delete their information, then they've got to allow you to be able to do it. So uh, all plans come with free license, unlimited staff, uh, free outgoing email service. So they're going to handle all the emails for you. So that's the hardest part when you self-host is setting up an email service to deliver all your forum messages. And obviously there's quite a lot, right? So unlimited um Emails is a good thing. Free and automatically provided SSL. So you want it to be secure. You want this little HTTPS up here. Look, connection is secure. People are putting their information and their passwords in. It's going to be secure. Uh, free uh, da -da -da, ability to host your own host name. So you're going to, you know, forum at your domain.com or just if you want the whole thing to be your domain, you can do. Um, uh, email support with these guys. Uh, encrypted daily backups, which is great as well. If you're using something else like DigitalOcean or something like that, they only do weekly backups. So obviously you can lose a lot of data, a lot of information if, if it's only doing it weekly. Uh, you're going to save a couple of months if you pay annually. Uh, like we said, you host both areas. All prices are inclusive of that, exclusive of that. So they're going to be that on top. Uh, but if you have a proper VAT ID, it's one of those things where it gets wiped out. So what you're talking here is uh, the basic plan, 10 gigabyte storage, 250K in page view, the basic plugins, which I'll show you, and no extra plugins. So they've got 10 basic plugins that are popular plugins across Discourse, and then they've got a list of uh, 10 extra plugins uh, that you're not going to be able to add. But I'll show you that. You're probably going to be all right with the basic ones. Uh, shared IP address, so obviously you're being hosted on a server that's got other discourse um, platforms on there. Which, you know, when you're starting out, it's not going to be a problem either. Uh, uptime, 99.9% .9 uptime, free Akismet. Akismet, I'd say that. I don't think I've ever said that out loud before. Akismet. So that's basically going to stop spammers um, jumping in and commenting. They're going to be able to lock them down and, and uh, make sure that they. They're not, you're not getting uh, basically spam comments all over your blog, uh, your, your discourse forum. Uh, the stable version, so it's going to work off the last stable version. Uh, when the next stable version comes out, they will update the platform for you. So you don't have to worry about it. And then the Let's Encrypt SSL. So that's the secure thing. So HTTPS, right? All for $20 a month or $29 a month. They are handling the back end for you. All you need to do 
is is do the front end work of getting people to talk on your blog, right? Uh, on your forum, I keep saying blog. So obviously, double that, double everything up. Twice as much storage. It's gonna take you a while to get through ten gigabytes of storage. More pay, more views. You get five extra plugins. You get um, you're still on the shared IP address, and then you're, all the other stuff is the same. So you're basically getting twice the storage, twice the plays views, and you're getting some extra plugins that you choose five of ten. And then a big pricing, 40 gigabytes, uh, a million page views a month, uh, basic plus the other 10 plugins. Uh, you can you can request bespoke plugins. You can say, I want this one add in. Dedicated IP address so your discourse will be on its own forum. Um, and again, uh, you can choose a newer version if you want. I think that's what that means. Uh, but that's going to be double the price again. So, but you, I think you're probably going to be talking about twenty dollars a month version for you if you're just starting out. Right. So let me log in to discoursehosting.com. Um, if you're watching this, you probably know about discourse. You know what it looks like. I don't think you're viewing this video to work out what a discourse forum looks like. Big people, you know, uh, Seth Godin, he's he's hosting his forum on a discourse forum. Uh, there's a lot of top platforms now that use it. So you probably know what Discourse is. So I'm not going to show you Discourse itself. What I'm going to show you is the back end and what to expect, right? So when I log in, it's going to tell me... Uh, I'm guessing you've already you've already signed up. So this is just saying my subscription. It runs out in a week. Um, that's that one. Host name. So this is where I can decide. You can basically host it on your... Uh, on a, on a you could say forum, Dave's forum, if it was available, dot discoursehosting.net. And that would work straight away, work straight out of the box. Or obviously you're going to add your own forum. So you simply type in what you want to host, where you want to host it. And then you quickly add a setting within your DNS settings to point it, point forum to this. And it starts working. It's really easy. But as I say, I will show you that in a training video. And if you want a, another host name for some reason, you might have... Your forum might have been firstly, um, um, I don't know, it might have been called something completely different. Like you might have said it's davesforum.com and now it's forum.davestraining.com. So you might want to put the whole, the old name in there as additional host names. You can you can have two forum names, but there would, there would be one main one. SSL, that's the HTTPS settings. If you've got your own certificates where you want it to be more secure, you can upload it. Um, Email configuration, you can, uh, it's all hosted for you and you can add some settings and, and to make sure it works even better. It, it will work out of the box, but if you get any problems, then there may be some settings you need to change, but this is where you get your information. Here are the plugins. So here are the 10 basic plugins that you get. So a lot, a big one is the Discourse Ad plugin. So you see on my website, there's adverts. So whenever you click something, an advert comes up. Uh, and an advert comes up the bottom. That's the ad plugin. You know, Akisma, Akisma, Ask. I don't even know that. I don't know. I can't think of what that. I don't think I've ever said that somebody said that out loud. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Discourse solved. So if you want to have a solved reply, you can. Uh, spoiler alert. So you can you can put a link. To, you can put something up to say, uh, don't read any further. That if you talk about a movie or something or a be a, a, a TV show. Staff notes, staff can log in and, and put notes on things without um, showing directly to the, the people that are talking. Uh, migrate password, I don't know what that one does. Sitemap, that's a big one as well. You want Google to be able to map to able to index your, your forum, right? If you've got a public forum, you want Google to be able to, to see all the links properly. And you do need a plugin for that. Um, Patreon. If you if you basically get people to pay on Patreon, it can link to um uh, webhooks. This is doing funky stuff to link to something like uh, Zapier to to be able to link to other platforms. Chat integration, so you can have a little chat widget, a little chat box. Legal tools, I don't know. I'm guessing that's going to do some sort of documentation. Uh, math plugin is probably to stop spammers. Where it'll say if you want to reply uh, before you click reply um, or before you sign up, maybe. Uh, what's 10 plus 9 and it'll be a random thing and you've got to answer a math question. So they're all the basic ones. They're all the, a lot of very popular discourse plugins on their basic ones. But then obviously there's, there's a, 
all these extra ones depending on your next level that you can have as well so i'm not going to go through them all um but you know it's cool that they're going to give you with that 20 20 a month version all these basic um, plugins that are very popular in that discourse community uh, support you get any problems this is the beauty of having it hosted by another company something's not working or you want something happening request a migration look uh, request conversation from another forum conversion they will do it for you or there's somebody waiting to answer your questions when you host it yourself you don't have that kind of help at hand here um, and then your account settings is going to be your passwords your um, email stuff like that any invoices and again another contact us page if you've got any problems so it's really easy it's not you know the back end the whole point of this is to make the back end simple for you uh, and it makes it easy for you to work around right so i just want to wrap up this introduction as i say i'm going to do a full installation next you can create another forum you can host another one you can you don't have to link to to a single uh, discourse hosting Discourse is great, it's really easy to use, it's really easy, especially when you're using the front end. I, I use it for uh, comments on my um, on my WordPress blog, I can link it to that. There's a lot of things you can do with Discourse, there's a lot of things you can do uh, to build a community, it's, it's really easy to use. And with Discourse hosting, what you're doing is taking all the back end pain away. You don't have to pay a tech guy, you don't have to pay people to come in and manage and monitor and and check for backups and make sure you're not losing anything uh it's taking the pain of the tech away it is a little bit more expensive than some other platforms where you do it yourself but if you're impressed with saving time which is going to save you money in the long run where you just want to jump in and get your uh forum launched get people talking get people um actively using it then discoursehosting.com is really easy to do so as i say i'm going to put some links for an installation video and a video of how to transfer your current if you're already using discourse how to transfer over it was really easy it took me uh 10 minutes and only because i've got a different version than what there was the stable one uh the guys upgraded this version and it was not even close to being a problem come and visit me my forum is obviously forum.paulnicholson.com. I've got a Facebook group where people are asking questions up oh, two people want to join. I'm not going to click on it uh, yet. Where I am uh, actively answering questions. If you've got any problems, you know, jump into my forum, jump into my Facebook group. I'll put some training together for this. I don't think you need it because it's so easy to use. But any questions, comment below. I'm always here to help. Cheers.